me know you can hear me okay. Hello, 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 can you hear me? Well, says there's five people in here, or seven people in here, and hello. Hello, Katie. Can you hear me okay? Hi, Tracy. <laughs> My daughter from another mother. How's everybody doing today? I'm not um, sewing with the machine today. Um, I just thought we'd come on and have a chat. Hi, Deborah. Um, and uh, let you know what I've been doing and why I've not been sewing. Hello, Colleen. Hi, Lynn. My appointment with the eye doctor. Well, that was different. <laughs> didn't get very far <laughs> other than he's going to do a CT scan of my head I think he's going to see if I've got a brain but I don't think he's going to succeed <laughs> so um, um, I don't know whether you can or you can just make it out all that blurriness on this lens here that's part of the temporary prism that they've um, put on my glasses to stop the double vision, um, which is fine. It stopped the double vision. I can see now when I'm in the car, I can I can actually see one car in front of me instead of two. Um, but it's made this side really blurred, so it's like looking through a fog. Oh, all these people come in. Hello, Diane. So I have to keep taking them off to see what I'm... This is the only way I can see, read and do any... So I can hand sew, but actually sitting at my machine to do anything, it's um, it's not great. So I've been doing a lot of... Well, they call it slow stitching. Um, and so that's what I'm been doing um, you've probably seen some of the clips and videos I've been putting up on them on making them um, you're ironing a piece of border Katie that sounds to piece of border hmm interesting what color is it going to be this piece of border so this is what I've made this is a leather and it actually sewed through the leather really well I was quite impressed it does add a lot of texture so um, so this is the first book is finished but I've, I'm having to make two books now because both daughters um, want it I can hand sew Lynn I just can't if I sit at the sew machine my glasses are like this up and down up and down up and down trying to see what I'm doing um, so it's easier to just not sit at the machine at the moment. Oh, a baby child hooded towel with an embroidered name. Lovely. Very nice. So I did my first page. So I've been following um, a couple of um, people on um, YouTube. One's Roxy's um, Roxy's Creations, I think it's called Roxy's Creations, 
Um, she's based in Australia and she's been um, doing um, a lot of this, but they've been doing it and putting it and doing a big long like in the garden they, they, they've called it. So everything's in the garden that she's been doing. And that's how I thought I'd be able to do something along that line. It's black and green on white. Each colour has lots of speckles. Oh, I bet that's adorable. So there's my first page. I just drew some pictures on just to... So then we go to the penguins. So the idea is the children look at the... Yes, that's it. Roxy's creation. <laughs> um, I put There's another one as well that I put a link in in the description, I think, as well, Colleen. So that's the first page that I did. Um, just by putting running stitches in a blue, it's made it look um, quite watery on that bit. Um, then I, and the, the penguins and the deer. No, that's fine, Colleen, you do. Well, thank you. And then got little foxes in the garden with at Christmas because I've got the Christmas scarves and Christmas hats on. And then the vegetable garden with a little rabbit. He's about to pinch carrots and a hedgehog. And there's some cabbage and cauliflowers and carrots. Um, and then and I just add some fabrics and I was just cutting these out of fabrics and sticking them on. The background on this one is um, a wet wipe and I've just coloured it, coloured the wet wipe um, to make it look like a sky. So that's two little dicky birds and they're sitting on a wall. And then my garden with a little watering can and a rake and my flowers and I added beads growing up the, up the garden shed can't get over the cuteness of this book. Thank you, Colleen. This is the only one I'm not very happy with. Um, and I think it's because of the background fabric I put it on. It just didn't set it off very well. Um, but there's rabbits. Um, rabbits. Robots. Uh, then there's me owl in a tree. And again, this was the fabric. And I've just highlighted and gone over um, added the brown fabric and my lions in and I hadn't quite got enough of that so I just added a bit of different green which doesn't doesn't deflect from it I don't think and then the tractors are plowing in the fields and they've set some of this some of the rows that they've planted already and some of them still got a plant and the birds are after the seeds and then my tigers are in the forest. And my unicorns are in the icy woodland. And the owls are delivering Santa's letters. This was Harry Potter fabric. And then Peppa Pig is in a garden with her friends, with George. And I added this leather cover on. So now I've started my second one. So the second one's just the pages are in different orders. So the second one's got two birds, two owls in the trees and the penguins are on a different colour background and my unicorns, I'm just about to start. So that's all I've been been doing at the time, at the moment. I've been able to to do much else. As you can see, some of my postcards keep falling off the off the wall. I need to fix a way of fixing them up. They're full of character. Did you line pages with batting? No, I didn't, Lynn. Didn't put any any uh, batting in. Um, I've got um, calico, and and then that's the base fabric. And on this one, what I've done is I've actually stitched all the um, the base. I've so uh, I did use the machine yesterday and and sewed just round the edges on on them. Um, so 
when you do them then I've just blanket stitched the first two pages together um, and then I've, this is this is the found uh, the concertina foundation that um, goes into so this is how I sewed it into uh, the book the pages are actually concertinaed onto another piece of uh, a wider piece of fabric which I've already got here it's wider um, and then what I'd, what, I'd, what I do is so this is the first page that gets sewn down onto the and then just stitch in this gap here onto this back end fabric um, and it'll hold it down and then all I've got to do then is just stitch this very far, uh, wide back in into the leather um, uh, but I've already I've already got me things started so these have got they're, they're slightly different some of them are the same but some they're slightly different like that one and of this one's got um teddy bears these are also and so this one's back in is slightly different but i've still got my garden shed um and i should probably do a garden path and pepper pigs in the middle this time um and this time I put me um, re uh, robots onto a different colour backing, and something's just fell off that one. What did it fall? What? What? what, 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 what. Uh, uh. I tried using a bit of heat and bond to hold it on, but they're not, not holding, so it's just going to have a, a star on the top. That one. Um, and then I've got some Christmas. Still got a lot, a couple of lions. Not no tigers in this one. Got some butterflies. I'm not quite sure whether I like that page yet. Hi Cheryl, have you landed yet back in Michigan? Oh. So that's me second one. That's underway. I'm not dipping. Snowflake keeps falling off. Uh, and the red is leather yes it is leather yeah um my daughter gave me a couple of rolls of of it um and it, it was quite easy to actually hand stitch through so it's not very it's not very thick leather it's, uh, it's quite a thin thin leather but it was easy to sew through so Back in Michigan. Oh, baseball, yep. Hope he wins. Yeah, hope he, hope he does all right on you. Cheryl's grandson's... Oh, sorry, didn't mean to knock. Cheryl's grandson's in a baseball match. So she's gone back to watch him. Um... Yeah, so that's the, uh, who else? Hi, Laurie. Thank you, Diane. Yeah, the book is, it's, it's come on, it's all right. Um, so, yeah, no, bat, no batting in it, just, just, just cut on, just um, fixed onto the calico. I had a big piece of calico, so I thought, why not use it? Um, hello, Laurie. Have I missed anybody else coming in? don't think I am. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, so I've not been doing a great lot of sewing with me glasses, but, so, yeah, so the... My hospital appointment yesterday said um, 
they'll do a CT scan just to make sure that it's nothing untowards that's caused the double vision in the first place. And then he'll see me in eight weeks' time, and then, fingers crossed, hopefully then, I can have the prescription made for me. Um, new glasses that have the prism actually built into this lens, so it won't be as, as blurry. Um, because once, the, once it, the prism's built in, rather than this that's just stuck on the, onto the lens, um, apparently it... Yeah, they've not done the CT scan yet, Cheryl. I'm waiting for the appointment to come through. Um, hopefully it won't be too long, but... Um, I've got that... I've had that, got that many appointments in May at the hospital, I feel like taking up a bed. Um, Yeah, Melissa must be sleeping in, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, the the the, the girls really liked them, and I said, well, I'd see how it, long it took me to do the first one to decide whether I did a second one. And um, they didn't... It, it, it doesn't really take me that long to, to do the first one. Um, so I thought, oh, well, I might as well make them one each, because one works actually in a nursery, and the other one works at home with, as a childminder, so they, they can both use use them. So <laughs> I think we're all alone. <laughs> Why are you all alone? <laughs> Hand sewing is a lot, but when it's all you want to do, sewing, and you can't do machine doing it at the machine because at the moment it's just affect, affecting this. Well, I just can't see properly out of it. It's that blurred. If I take them off, I can see. Then I can't read anything um, unless I've got it up in front of me. Um, but yeah, so. That's what I'm doing, and I've got two. I've, well, I've got my peacock that needs binding, which I need to get on with. I've got my brother's quilt that I took to quilt club and started um, to sort out at quilt club, and it all puckered up because it's on this fleece, and it's so I've got to unpick some of that and lay, lay flat again. So that's a bit of a pain. But I haven't even done that yet. I haven't un unpicked it or nothing. Um, yeah, I used to do a lot of cross stitch, um, Tracy, but uh, I haven't. Well, I didn't. I, I kept all my threads, but I haven't got any um, any cross stitch uh, IED anymore. I, I gave it all to my sister. She does loads of cross stitch. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm. Um, I don't really want to take up cross stitch again and start doing that because I want to be at my machine. But until me, they sort my eye out. I can't really do that. <laughs> you try the links, don't hate me if you get it wrong, Sherlock. I can never hate you, Laurie. See, you did all right on Collins. I don't know whether I put one in for Did I put one in for Lynn? Oh, yeah, I did. Look, modern training. Best supporter. There you go. Oh, no, you need you put a gap in between the ex, ex, <laughs> exclamation and Tracy's name. You need, need to take the exclamation out. I don't know whether I did Tracy or just Tracy A. I think I just did Tracy. Well, they put Tracy A, didn't they? I think.
Yeah, it might be Tracy A if nothing's coming up. Can't remember what I put. It's <laughs> belt check sticks. You're right, it does. Uh, there you go, Tracy. It's Tracy A, yeah. Best student, there you go, yeah. You're all having fun putting these loops in, aren't you? So we're just having a, a bit of a chat today. Hello, Laurie. How are you doing? Uh, I've been I've been showing off me me leather bound storybook clock. No, oh, put it right way up. See, tell me a story. All these. All these fantastic pictures that stuff. Oh. I do like that one. I love the little carrots and the Your embroidery letters are so small I'm printing letters and I'm going to satin stitch over them. Yeah, um I think that's well when I did I just when I did those ones, the letters on this um, at the beginning, um, what I did, I got some, I doubled up, well, I, I think it's it's four times, yeah, four four times, and, and then just couched over it, so it's like couching on it. So that's how I did them. So they, they, they're they raised up um, on the, on the page um, so yeah I think it was a, I think it was like four wraps of four I think what I can remember um, yeah I think it was and I just I just wrapped it wrapped it round made it tight and then couched over it Thank you, Laurie. No, it's not. It's not beads. It's um, the only the only beads I put in was in the um, in the shed. I put beads on the shed, and the only reason I didn't put them on any others is because the beads that I've got, I haven't really got a needle that's small enough to go through the eye of the bead. Um, so that's the only reason. So I need I need to get a smaller smaller needle but then I'd have trouble threading it so I wouldn't be able to see it. Um see this is this is my problem at the minute. The glass is on the top of my head more than the on my face. <clears throat> um, so this is and then so and I've st so I've started a started another one blurry as well. Not there. So I've done first page and second page. They're done, um, and then uh, it just gives me something to do. I can sit and sit with my feet up and, um, and watch telly and just sit and sew. Cousins um, love the embroidered letters, and it's for her first grandbaby, who will be here by now. They induced labour late last night. Oh, Collie, that sounds exciting. New little baby. Yeah. Can't believe my grandson's now 14. Granddaughter's nearly 10, going on 17. Oh, Lynn, is your has she not had your job? Can we not have your mate, granddaughter yet? Wow, that is uh, so yeah. So and then uh, daughter gave me these. Can you use them? I don't know. I haven't really looked, so I don't know if I can whether they'll. I might, whether they might fit in me little book, 
whether they'd squinch down. I don't know, can't even get in them. <coughs> How does one even get in the packet? That's the question. Well, it helps if you take the cellar tape off it. She was due on Monday. Mm. Yeah, you usually find things open easier if you take the cellar tape off them. on stuff. Right. Let's see now, can I get in them? Yeah, I wonder if yeah, I wonder if I could might mean decapitating its legs then whether it would sew down if I decapitate its legs off it. I'm sure well the legs they come off easy enough. And then well they might fit in though. They'd, they'd fit in if I squished it. They'd be all right. Yeah, I reckon that would work. I might try stitching that on. I might do a couple. Hmm, that's a good idea. I might, uh, I might take a couple out, detach the legs, and then try and squish it in so that it fits. Yeah, the legs come off easy. Yeah, squish down quite a bit. Quite well. <laughs> Maybe the weather. Babies babies want to come out when it's warm, I've decided. <laughs> My daughter waited for a heat wave to hit before she arrived. My first one. <laughs> chicky, chicky, chicky. Yeah, they'll fit, I think. I'll just go to decide what page I'm going to stick them on then. That'll be, uh, yeah. She, these, they, they, the dates they give are only like estimated dates anyway, aren't they? They don't know for sure um, when babies are. Babies come when they're ready. I'm thinking chicken fried. <laughs> KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> uh, got a couple of legs if you want them. <laughs> chicken legs. Really, I mean, I might, I might do a, could sit and do a bit of hand sewing, I suppose, while I'm sat here, wait, and decide what page me, me chicky wickies are going to go on. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Could I put chickens in with fox? That would be a bit evil, wouldn't it? Fox 
a chicken. About a fox and chicken. That look all right. A bit chicken and fox together. Yes, happy Mother's Day for the weekend, everybody. <laughs> Crow. <laughs> Be a good talking point for kids. Chicken, fried chicken foxes, and it's better than put, I could put them in with the lions, but I don't think they go with the lions. I don't think they go with Peppa Pig either. Um, my God, no. Christmas, no. Actually, they could go in there. They could go on that one because I don't really like that one and I could put my chicken, leave me butterflies and take these bits off and put my chickens up there, couldn't I? What do you think? Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I might. I might do that. Take me, leave me butterflies on and add me chickens to that page. Yeah. They can go on that page, my chickens. This is this is the biggest problem with it. You get it, it all gets everywhere. So I'll try and concertina it back up and put a clip in it to keep it out of the way. And it also keeps me pieces if they do happen to come loose because me. The little bit of uh, heat and bond that I put on them isn't really secured it properly. So, put me, put me clip back on them. All done there. And then, so, yeah. Oh, not, oh, well, we've, it's, we haven't had storms here. Laurie, but it's been wet the last couple of days and uh, we've got a new neighbour moved in yesterday into next door um, so yeah so I'm out. this is this is what I'm doing and my glasses are on my head because I can see better when I'm sewing storms for the next three days Oh, I know you're feeling, Deborah. It's not very nice when you, uh, when the damp gets to your joints and stuff. I know, cold and damp in my joints play up. Uh, um, I'm just basically just tacking down the unicorns around the edge, and then I shall. Um, And I should just um, add some blue stars over it and just keep turning me turning me page and me so this is this is what I've been what I've been doing so um, got nothing really much else on the go at the moment because it's just been too difficult um, I mean, at least when I had been, when I got the double vision, I could sew okay because the double vision was in the distance. But now with this on, it's made everything blurred. So it's made it harder. Oh, 13 watching and 13 thumbs up. Well, I've got 14 watching now, so... Ooh, that's exciting. So um, I'm uh, I'm been trying out a few. Um, I've been watching these, I'm watching some YouTubers and on different embroidery stitches as well to try and add a bit more um, texture. Um, so. I was I watched the 
couch in one and then um this the the brown I don't think you can quite see them but the underneath it's just that's the the loopy bit on top is it that's just blue that's loose. Um I can't remember what the stitch is called. Um No, can't remember. Um. Oh, the weather was lurking, it's disappeared because we're back to 13 again. <laughs> Selling Santa on someone. <laughs> oh dear. That lurker. Someone's lurking. Who's lurking in the background? <laughs> uh. um yeah. So what's everybody else been up to? So that's me. I've just done a little star in blue. And we should just work some stars around till I get to the next piece that we want to anchor in down. I scared the lurker <laughs> with the Santa threat. Yes, Colleen, you certainly did. You scared them away. Deborah, our doctor's surgeries are rubbish at the moment. Um, my my sister's doctor's surgeries are appalling. Ours isn't too bad. And I must admit, ours isn't too bad. Um, but my sis the one my sister's got, it's appalling. Absolutely appalling. I don't know how they, um, how they can get away with it. I really don't. This um, I can't. This is the other thing I'm wait. I can't wait for my new glasses because these are so loose. They just they just dropped. Move me out and they drop down. Yeah. You've got three trips to town on Monday. Not sure Tuesday, but Tuesday is the last day. I hope it is too, Colleen. That driving backwards and forwards must be absolutely. Exhausting for you. Um, yeah, so I hope it is the last one for you. And then hopefully by the time he goes back to school, he'll have his license and he can he can do the driving himself. Um, Lynn, how dare you use language like that? Housework, really? I can't believe you'd use language like that on my channel. Housework, well. Yeah. Just going to put one more star in, and then I can I'll show you what I've just what I've just done. So it doesn't take long, really, to to just whip these bits together. And that's another. I might get one more out of that bit of cotton. That's more now.
pre-motion cruelty. It uh, that it kills my back. That does pre-motion cruelty. Any any cruelty, to be quite honest. I mean, trying to use to, to manoeuvre that um, quilt to my brother's under with the fleece at quilt club the other day. Oh my goodness me! It nearly killed me. My back was absolute agony by the time I'd done. So, let's get rid of that. Get my needle out. Put that in there. So, just in that few minutes, I've done those stars and round that unicorn. So, say, it doesn't take long to to just because they're only postcard size six by four um, so they don't take long to to just whip together um, so I just wanted to just pop on and let you know what was happening really and uh, I'll um, go back and sit back down at the in my easy chair, ease me back because this chair doesn't help either with me back. And so, um, any anybody got any other questions um, before we go? <laughs> you always want orange juice on Friday. <laughs> Could be me. Could be me. I do try and have at least two glasses of um, um, I add um, sugar free lemonade to it to make to boost it up. Um, right, so anything else anybody? Oh I noticed before I came on, Colleen, you're at one point eleven K. Um Melissa was at two 223 was she something like that I think so yes um, so that's uh, brilliant news um, I'm at eight, 818 I think it is so slowly creeping up uh, 2.4 yeah 2.4 well it's brilliant um, and you're at, two, at 111 Colleen that's great um I mean, I'm, I'm slow, slowly, gradually getting there. And that um, adding sewing sewing tube um, at the beginning, that was um, an initiative of um, Lizzie Curtis, who's in the UK. Um, she's she's uh, been going for a long while, but she's uh, she's like got 33k followers, um, and she she suggested. Um, that uh, the, if people started putting it into their huge into the front of their channel in front of the title then um slow and steady it might just build help build people build up so it seems to be slowly going getting there so that's good yeah um so that's uh, that's great so yeah happy mother's day um for all our um u s friends um over this over sunday Laurie's at 2.22. Brilliant. That's great, Laurie. That's great. So happy. Um, so, yeah. So, if that's it, everybody, I think we'll go at that. And I'll go and uh, sit back down and do a bit more sewing. I'm definitely going to put my little chickens in. Going to put my little chickens in now. Now I've seen that they can fit. And sew them down. Yeah, that'd be that'd be so cute, little chickens, squishy chickens. I'm just gonna squish them, sit here squashing them. Now that you're back, you'll get there in no time. Yes, you will, Laurie. You'll get soon get there. So, right. So take care, everybody. Um, as Colleen says, be the light you see in others, um, and. My saying, if you can't say anything else, 
say something nice about people, not because they're nice, but because you are. And as Melissa said, if two people criticise your work, um, then tell them to go home. So there you go. I actually remembered it today. Um, stop squishing those chickens. I'm sad, I'm sad to squish them. <laughs> oh, I nearly, flat, nearly flattened him. <laughs> uh, yeah, he'd be great. That one's got a bit more body to him, but the other one's a bit squished, but it'll slow down. It'll be fine. Right, thanks, Lynn. Okay, everybody. So you take care, and we'll hopefully all see you all next week. Yep. Bye.